Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th, so keep my timing still fluid, right? And not every reading is for you, so we're just going to see what comes up. It's my favorite deck, so I, I don't know why I decided to take out my favorite deck for today. What do we got? What do we got for a message today? Three cups. This is a celebration. So this is happiness. It could be a reunion for some of you, but this is a very happy time. Could be receiving a gift, good news, something to celebrate. reversed. Ooh, Knight of Wands reversed. So the Empress reversed is, 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 is a problem. Uh, Knight of Wands reverse Impulsive behavior. Uh, reckless behavior. In the past, there's been some reckless behavior. Somebody may have done something without thinking in the past. Now the Empress in reversed is somebody that is lacking love, you know, lacking unconditional love. I need to get another card. What is that, Empress Reverse? There could be a third party here. There could be a third party situation. Somebody acted impulsively. They may have gotten themselves involved with a person that doesn't really love them. I mean... The Empress in Reverse is not about love, okay? She's very needy, uh, doesn't know how to love. What is this Empress Reverse? Ooh, King of Swords reversed. So, uh, uncaring. We have a very uncaring individual here. This person don't care. Cold, hard, abusive, mentally abusive. Night moving away. Somebody is moving away very, very fast. They are moving away from an individual that doesn't really take care of them. You know, because the Empress in reverse is a woman, it's a feminine, that doesn't really take care of them. This is, could be somebody that's angry, that wants to be loved. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse, I don't know. This is moving very, very quickly away from this individual. This is somebody that is very needy. Uh, superficial, not very nice by the looks of things. I mean, the Empress in Reverse is not a nice person, not very caring, moving away. So somebody is moving very quickly in a different direction, okay? They're right now, right now, they're in a hurry to get the hell away from this person. Four of Pentacles reverse. Now this is uh, letting go again, opening up. Definitely, somebody was holding on to something. Now they're letting go because this is a card of happiness. Happiness is where it's at, right? We all know that happiness is where it's at. But if you're dealing with an individual that isn't taking good care of you that may have affairs. I mean, there could be an upcoming termination here. Somebody may be terminating something. This is somebody that is uh, maybe selfish, jealous, maybe has a poor self-image, you know. We could have a mean-spirited, self-absorbed individual who, you know, is a mess. This person isn't very abundant. They may even have affairs. You know, there could be an affair here. Um, this is moving away. This is not loyal. So we may have somebody here that's not very loyal. And this is moving away very, very quickly. Getting the hell out of here. You know? Somebody may have made a reckless decision to get involved with this person. Maybe it was as a, as a third party, you know? 
and got involved with this person, you know, very, very quickly. They did it without thinking. Three of Swords. Now there's some sort of pain involved. There's heartache, there's suffering, there's grieving. Somebody is feeling some pain. They're in pain. They are in pain. They are in pain. Hmm. Ooh, Queen of Swords reverse. Now the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is bitter. Bitter, hard to deal with. Very cold. Very, very cold. Um... Somebody may have tried to make a logical decision, but they weren't using their heart. And it feels like now they're taking a new approach, you know. There could be a sudden arrival here and a sudden departure with these two cards. Okay, there's, there's like a departure and an arrival all at the same time, which is interesting. Hmm. We have a real bitch here, just saying. We have a real bitch in this reading. This is a bitch who really is very extremely cold. Causing somebody some pain. Asserting themselves. Somebody didn't hasn't learned a lesson, you know, they haven't learned a lesson about what love is by the looks of things. And they, they may have made a they did make a spur of the moment decision. Now they're hurting over the choice that they have made. Two of Cups and Two of Cups about love. It's about a union. It's about a partnership. We have somebody here that is hurting over a partnership. They are. They're hurting over a third party. Over a third party relationship. You know? Um, perhaps somebody doesn't care anymore. Somebody may have given, you know, they just don't care anymore. There's no feelings left. You know, maybe the Empress has turned cold because of somebody's impulsive behavior because the empress got hurt because there's pain there's pain obviously this somebody's in pain right here well i'm leaving but there is an opportunity for love because the two of cups wouldn't be here so somebody is suffering they're in a lot of pain over a partnership They may feel intimidated. They may feel like it's too late. But this is at now. Seriously. Knight of Swords in a hurry. So this is somebody that is putting some plans in action perhaps. But we also have somebody that is making a getaway. They are definitely leaving. They're going someplace. They're making a getaway very, very quickly. I think we have an individual here that has been extremely hurt. Now that now now they're uh, you know they've come up with some sort of plan and they're making a getaway. You know. Ooh, wheel of fortune reverse. Now this is a setback. This is a setback. Somebody is. Uh, it's like the wheel of fate is, is spinning somebody in another direction, but there's a delay. It's like somebody is, is trying to stop something. They're trying to stop destiny. Wheel of fortune reverse, just clinging to control. I feel like we have a soulmate connection here because when we get two of the same court, we have soulmates and we have the two of cups. I feel like we have a soulmate connection that is uh, 
delayed or it's delayed or it's stopped or it's not going in the right direction or or something something it's been a, this is a horrendous loss right it's an unfortunate loss so we do have an unfortunate loss here i do feel like there's some challenging information that is coming as well get prepared for some news We have somebody here that acted impulsively. They didn't think before they did something. And now they're hurting. They're hurting. There's consequences here. They're dealing with the consequences of a loss. This is exposure, seeing the truth. Somebody was avoiding the truth, but now they see it clearly. That's what this is. Somebody has been avoiding the truth. They've been blocking the truth. They've been in denial. But now they're seeing something differently. There's some sort of ex exposure here. Coming out of denial. Opening up to a partnership. Somebody may be coming out of denial and opening up to a partnership. And I think that they were blocking it. They were blocking their feelings. They were... They were uh, maybe fear was in the way. Maybe it was fear of rejection, you know, fear of confrontation, something like that. Seeing the truth with the Two of Swords reversed. Somebody is seeing the truth after they did not see the truth. After they were not seeing something clearly. Now they're seeing the truth. Hmm. Avoiding challenge. Somebody's been avoiding challenge. Right? They have. They've had great personal fear. And I feel like they're angry. They're angry over a loss. They're probably mad at themselves. They're mad at themselves for acting so stupidly. Somebody made a really stupid decision. I think they made a stupid decision to get involved with a third party on a whim. And now there's consequences. Now there's consequences for that. I believe there's going to be a challenging conversation that is had in the very near future. I feel like we have somebody here that got themselves into a partnership that isn't working out. They got themselves in a partnership that isn't working out. There's no growth. There's no fertility. There's probably no attraction there. No passion either. They got into it on a whim because they were hurting. And now, you know... There's a need to retreat and get the hell out of there. They want to get the hell out of there. They want to get out of there, but they may be uh, in a challenging position, you know, where they're having a hard time getting out of this situation. Stuck with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. That's stuck. Somebody may be stuck in the third party, you know, whatever it is. Um... unhappy unhappy news so I do believe there's some, some some sort of unhappiness here somebody's extremely dissatisfied and unhappy about a broken relationship they are and there's a need to be honest and tell the truth with that knight of swords there's a need to speak up We may have somebody here that decides to throw themselves into the heart of an issue. It's like they want to, they, it's all of a sudden, it feels like it's all of a sudden their heart starts speaking to them. And there's been a lack of growth wherever they're at. They've been in a deep, dark place, right? 
been a lot of darkness there. And there's, a, there's an opportunity for happiness with the Three of Cups. There is. We have somebody here that is sad and they, 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 there's poor logic, you know, and there's been a lack of clarity and they've been unrealistic. And now it's like they're suffocating. They're in some sort of situation where they're suffocating and they want to get out of it. And I think that, you know, they haven't been honest with themselves. And now it's like, now it's because with that Knight of Swords, it's like, gotta go. Got to do it. I do believe there's some sort of communication. Somebody, it's almost like somebody's going to face the challenge that they have been so scared to face. Because happiness is where it's at. If you remember, it's interesting because I started this out with a reunion. So there could be a chance for a reunion here. Oh my goodness, Nine of Swords. Now that is giving deep thought. Somebody is giving deep thought to a relationship, to a partnership. They really, really, really are. And they're struggling. They're struggling. They're struggling to accept challenge. I feel like they've, they've been repeating negative patterns over and over and over again. But there's an opportunity to change. There's an opportunity to change the the destination here. There is. But it will require somebody speaking up and being honest. So anyway, I feel like uh, on this day, we have some sort of truth you know, being seen, coming out, being felt with the Two of Swords reverse, that's coming out of denial, right? This is like, oh my God, what did I do? I can't believe this is happening. Oh my goodness, there's been some control issues. There's been some control issues. We have somebody here that has been power crazed, power hungry. They've been lying. It feels like they've been lying to themselves. But there's movement. Okay, there's movement. Progressing forward in a new direction. This is an individual that is finding their mental strength to take the lead, to face their fears and replace their fear with faith. This could be moving, moving very fast, packing up, dealing with the opposition, facing the opposition, moving towards a new destination. So I do, I do see that. I think we have somebody here that has, uh, been in an unhappy, unhealthy situation where there's been a lot of manipulation and control. There's been a lot of heartache and there's been a lot of pain over a partnership. And somebody is getting some news with that Knight of Swords. They're getting some news or they're seeing things differently. I feel like this news progresses them forward, you know? Moves them away. It moves them away from a third party situation where there was no love. So I feel like on this day, There is going to be some sort of happy news, believe it or not, that is either realized or accepted. And I feel like this, this news or this information or this clarity that is gained 
allows somebody to take charge because this is taking charge this is somebody that finds their determination to go in the direction that they need to go and deal with the opposition i'm going to i'm going to deal with it Good luck.